Hey everyone, welcome to Evan Metal. Today we're out on the range with a really nice 45. This here was uh, brought to us from Randy. Uh, he said he was having some issues with it. Uh, I think somebody's worked on it before or what have you. And he says the thing would just not run like it should. Well, before we go tearing it apart and doing this and that, I wanted to bring it out here and test drive it a little bit and just see what it's doing and what it's not doing. But check this thing out. This is a llama. I remember llama back when I was a kid. My daddy had a 44 mag that was awesome to shoot. Now this is the uh, 1911 model in 45. Got your basic sights there, but they do have white on them, so I should be able to see them. Nice beaver tail on that thing. I mean, a good looking little pistol. Now this one has the rubber type handles on it. And uh, also a little strip right back here in the back, which I do like. It's uh, comfortable in the hand. Uh, the grips are fatter than my 1911, but it has a good feel to it. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, Randy brought up some of this uh, Max Tech basic 230 grain full metal jacket, non corrosive. Just uh, what I call good basic range ammo. And that's what we're going to be shooting in this thing. Uh, this is the factory mag for it. So. Let's just see what we think about this thing. And one thing I wanted to look at right off the bat, before we even shoot it, is something I was suspecting. Uh, yeah. That thing is dry as a bone, guys. Let's see if I got, I should have a little oil out here. Any respectable range should have oil on it. And there we go. This just gives a little couple drops here and there. So we may have to end up taking this thing apart and doing some work on it. But then again, may not. Alright, that'll be plenty. It ain't like it's getting a full service oil change or anything. Alright, let's uh Load up a mag here and see what we think about this. Uh, like I was saying, uh, Llama's been around for a long time and always had good luck out of their stuff. So hopefully this will fall right in line with the rest of them. I wasn't even counting. Ooh, that mag loaded funky. That last one I just had to really make go in there. So I'm going to load it as that there. Alright, let's grab us some ears, guys. And uh, let's just take a couple cracks at the stop sign right there. And then she chambers. Hey, old gun feels good in the hand. It's functioning. Man, am I shooting low with this thing. It might have just needed a little oil. Now, Randy did say that he is a left-handed shooter. So, I want to shoot this thing left-handed and uh, see how it does. Now, it does shoot a little low for me, but I'm not used to it. She's empty. Yeah, I think it just needed some oil put in it. It was just really dry. Let's load her up again. There are six of them. And we'll just stick with the left-handed thing. 
Uh, let me shoot something a little bit different though. Yeah, guys, that thing's eating everything I put in it. Uh, I think it was just dry. And who knows, last time he had it out the range, he could have got a hold of some bad ammo. This is brand new. I just opened this. He brought it. So maybe whatever he was shooting before just wasn't up to par. This thing seems to be doing fine. I've not had one malfunction out of it. And that was two mags through it. Well, see what we're going to do, guys. One more mag, and I'm going to hold it with my right hand this time. And I'm going to rapid fire this thing as fast as I can and see if we can get it to mess up. There's a shot good right handed, a shot good left handed. There's six of them. We'll go ahead and hot one up in the pipe. That way we can get a seven shot burst out of her. And uh, let's just see what we think, guys. Last shell stayed in there, and that was probably me. It ejected it, but of course there wasn't one after it to flop it out. But it ripped off seven of them with no problem. Uh, the gun functions. Functions fine. So it shoots a little low for me. I'd have to get a little bit more range time with it to uh, actually get accurate, accurate with it. But it was consistency low, so that is what it is. Let's take another look at that thing. Yeah, I like that. A lot of times I don't like the shorter 1911s. I prefer the full size. But this one out here be, uh, you know, more for carry. And as you see, if y'all seen there, now it's got them serrations there on the front. Because a lot of people, you know, do this right here. And hey, whatever suits them, it's fine with me. But at least it's got the serrations on the front. For those of y'all to do, hold one like that. Uh, pretty cool. It's a llama, 1911-45. I like it. And uh, Randy, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. It seemed to work fine, even shooting left-handed and rapid firing. I think the only issue was she was just dry and needed a little bit of oil in her. Uh, so like a typical old Ford, I reckon. Well, guys, appreciate y'all watching that. Hope you enjoyed the Llama 1911 and 45. I enjoyed shooting it. That is a fun little gun. And y'all remember to throw Randy a thanks for bringing that thing by and supplying the ammo for this video. Well, guys, if you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, hit us up on Patreon if you're able. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, thanks to everyone for the support of the channel and watching the videos. Much appreciated. And until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.